Okay, so many of you have asked that what is the role of D-dimer testing in diagnosis of DVT or permeabolism. So understand that D-dimer has got a very high negative predictive value because it can get elevated in lot of conditions. So if the D-dimer value is coming negative, that means we have 95 to 90 percent chances that this person is not having DVT or permeabolism. But again, this testing depends upon how much you are clinically suspicious about uh, DVT or permeabolism in that particular patient. If you have a wheel score, any scoring system, if you feel that this is patient they have high chances of DVT or permeabolism, you give an anticoagulation, you give an anticoagulation and then do your echo and CT pulmonary angio for that. But if you are suspecting low or moderate risk in that particular patient, get a D-dimer done. And if D-dimer comes negative, that means 95 to 98 percent chances this is not having DVT or permeabolism. But if again it comes positive in lower moderate category, you need to do again imaging to rule out the things. Do read more about it.